The music industry is a tough place to traverse in today's world. With profits down, more and more people are having a hard time making it, but yet, some still do. From curators to critics to artists to labels, many are able to find their own niche in the growing world of music and thrive from it. Hi, I'm Matt Monroe from A9.9, and this is How to Survive in the Music Industry. Today on the show, we're talking to Richard Dotson, the bassist of The Frights, a surf punk band from San Diego made up of vocalist shots guitarist Mikey Carnival, him, and drummer Mark Finn. This year, they released their second studio album called You're Going to Hate This, which was produced by Fiddler frontman Zach Harper. While in town for a show, I got to interview Richard before the band's soundtrack about the band's origins, recording, tour life, and how his band survives in the music industry. So to start off, uh, how exactly did the frights begin? Uh, the frights was kind of a fluke. It was, it was more just like a, like a band that we kind of created just for fun, just for the, the heck of it, just to play a show, out of boredom. And... Uh, so this is us, a couple of friends. I mean, I know my bandmates from school. We've been in different bands, we played together, and so we played the show together, and uh, oh, no. we just happened to get signed to a to an indie label on the f- night of our first show. So we kind of kind of tracked in it. And that's actually kind of funny how you guys sort of start off as this sort of fluke, and now you're sort of like a legit band. You know, legit to the point that you have Zach Carper from Fiddler producing your new album. And actually, how'd you guys end up meeting Zach in the first place? Just by annoying him incessantly for uh, over a year, over email. Uh, Mikey was a big Fiddler fan. We're all big Fiddler fans, and, and Mikey had been emailing him forever, just asking him uh, to take us on tour, or do, do something, acknowledge us in any way, please. And eventually, we, we played a couple shows with him, we met him, got to know him a little bit, and Zach from Fiddler... Uh, apparently liked our music and decided he wanted to record us so after getting to know him a little bit better we did a whole record with him and that record you're talking about is your new one which is called You Are Going to Hate This and you know I'm kind of wondering you know what was the creative process behind that new album it's kind of kind of unique Mikey is the songwriter for our group so he wrote all our songs and so he went in the studio with a bunch of demos and Mark was only in town actually for a week and so we recorded all of his drum tracks in like three days just got them all out of the way he had to go back to school and then for the next four months Mikey and I kind of alternated going up to Zach's house to record you know one or two days at a time maybe once a week for the next four months and uh we just all kind of added our own things into this this weird mix and had a record at the end so, you know, the record is now done, and you guys are on tour, and, I, and I'm kind of wondering, you know, what is the tour life like, as I believe this is your longest tour yet, right? Oh, yeah, this is like, this is our longest tour by five weeks. Like, our longest tour before this was like maybe three weeks, not even. So, it's been pretty crazy. I, I, I think we all had an idea of how it was going to feel, you know, like being on the road for two months and then you, you actually do it and you're like oh my god this is a really long time <laughs> it's been a month and we have like a month left and it's like Jesus I just want to be home but at the same time it's the most amazing thing in the world to get to see every city and like go to all these places I've never been before it's, it's, a, it's a crazy crazy mix of emotions and to end this interview off I'm kind of wondering you know how do you think you and your band are surviving in the music industry thus far um, honestly, this is, might sound like a dumb answer, but we just don't take ourselves too seriously. And I think if you took yourself too seriously, it's going to be, it's just too much pressure. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's possible to take yourself too seriously, too, when you play a show, like, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and nine people show up. Like, you can't be like, how's it going, Fort Wayne? I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't really work out that way, so that's at least how I keep my sanity, and I know my bandmates kind of feel the same way. First off, I want to thank Richard for coming on the show and letting me have his time. If you want to learn more about the band, visit their website at thefrights.com to purchase or stream their new album and older material. Additionally, you can pick up some merch, find tour dates, and follow them on social media through the site. The music industry can be a diverse place, with everyone from bands to venue owners to producers attempting to work within it. Because of its size, surviving in the music industry is tough, so I hope from this series that I inspire people to want to be a part of the music industry, as if you work hard enough and meet the right people, you can make it. Hopefully, you learned a thing or two from Richard, as this has been How to Survive in the Music Industry. Now let's get back to some great music on A9.9.
college radio's best.